Priorities for Ozone Project in 2020 are improving capabilities around contextual understanding and targeting, um, so creating greater insights uh, and knowledge around user and user behavior and how advertisers can create value from that. Um, and the second part is around measurement, um, improving measurement um, for advertisers around brand and brand consideration and starting to move away from ad tech metrics, clicks, conversions, sales, which are increasingly challenged with the the changes that are happening to browsers and uh, I guess increasingly regulation. First party data is absolutely becoming more important and we're already seeing that. Um, one of the you know, drivers of Ozone's uh, proposition is leveraging and creating value from first party, uh, publisher first party data. Uh, and so we're seeing that. I think one of the things that we're going to see a lot more of is the deterioration and annihilation of third party data. Um, I don't think there is a market for third party data in the very near distant future. So um, brands and publishers are on a drive to create greater value from the data that they have. Um, and we're seeing kind of, you know, the fruits of that already. Identity is a big question um, you know, with a lot of the browser changes, etc., around tracking. Um, there's a lot of chat around publishers moving towards logged in, registered subscriber uh, um, strategies. Um, for news publishers, um, reader revenue is really important and a, a kind of a core focus. Being reader first is a shift that most news publishers have kind of embarked on in the last few years. Whether that extends to a single sign on concept. Um, is really the, the success of that will be user driven. Um, if users can see the value and if publishers can present proposition that users kind of gravitate around to have a single sign on across multiple publications, then it will work and it will be a product strategy that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, um, then uh, I guess publishers will continue in individual registration and subscriber paths. With all of the changes that are coming down the pipe uh, from regulators and from the browsers, um, for sure everything is going to be thrown up in the air and there's going to be winners and losers. I would say uh, my main interest is in premium publishers uh, and I think for premium publishers this creates a huge amount of opportunity. Um, it's only, it only creates value if you do something with it. Um, so you have to take the opportunity, you've got to create that value, it's not just going to come to you. So creating products uh, and reporting and insights, the, a lot of the strategy that we have within Ozone is very much with a premium publisher in mind. Um, and I feel pretty confident that a lot of the, ch the external factors are going to uh, produce good outcomes for us. For other publishers, um, that will depend a lot on which partners they choose um, uh, uh, to work with. Um, because I think that the, the regulatory pressures particularly are going to uh, um, force a lot of companies, uh, business models to change and I don't really know what that looks like. <laughs>